What's this? Can I break this? But yeah, I'm Gordon Freeman, your ass. Can I make it out of here? Give me the, give me the rocket. I'm gonna take this thing out. Oh, give me a rocket! Oh shit! Gotcha! Oh no! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Get out of here! That's right. Who owns the streets? Oh yeah, modern games. Hmm. Oh yeah. This is so triple A. Game of the year. <sighs> Take these things off. To celebrate the fact that my vision is augmented, I'm gonna make a video about Deus Ex. The original Deus Ex. The best Deus Ex. Unless you count the second game, that one was pretty good. Invisible War, pretty damn good game. Before we get started, let's head over to WhoKeys and unlock our copy of Windows. I uh, using coupon code TS25. You can get 25% off these prices here. I use Windows 10 Pro. You can also get Windows 10 Home, and both of these will upgrade to Windows 11. You can get that. Also, note that the Windows 10 keys have been working with Windows 11. Google it and make sure that this is still a thing whenever you're purchasing your key. Also, I wanna note that if you get Windows 10 Home and you upgrade it to Windows 11, they will force you to use an online account. With Windows 11 Pro, however, you can use a local account, just so you know. You can also get Office 2019 with that same discount, or if you like, you can get Windows 10 Pro and Office 2019 in a bundle and save even more. So go ahead and put TS25 in here as your coupon code, hit it apply, and then you can see we can get Windows 10 Pro for $14.85. Once you're finished, if you want to access your key you click on your name on the top right click on user center and you'll see my purchase orders right here you'll be able to view the keys that you've purchased just by clicking on view keys and codes then you will see your code right here just go ahead and copy this code press start type activate and you'll see activation settings come up click on that then click change product key right there you can paste in your code and hit next and then you will be activated it's very simple so don't pay those retail prices for your copy of windows or office head over to whokeys.com and use coupon code ts25 if you go online and you like try to figure out how to play deus ex and, and on modern hardware you're gonna get all kinds of different answers. And a lot of people are gonna recommend that you modify the game beyond the point of recognition. Don't touch anything that changes the audio. Like that's the number one thing. The audio is perfect. Don't touch it. Do not touch the music. And then uh, stay away from stuff that completely changes the way the characters look because it will, it will really ruin the experience and change the game beyond uh, what I guess the original intent was. And it just, don't do it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the vanilla version, make it look better, and make it work on modern hardware. And all you need to do that are three simple things. I put everything on Tech Syndicate. It's all right here. And you can scroll down and get all the links to everything you need. And if you go online, you're going to get 9,000 different answers. But this is the definitive way to do it. You only need a few things. You're going to need a launcher. You're going to need a renderer like, you know, DirectX or OpenGL or something like that. We need a more modern version. And then we're going to need um, some textures that look better on our big monitors. But I want to keep it true to the original. Here's the launcher. Go ahead and come down here. It's called Kenty's Launcher. And click here to download. So do that. Click it. It's downloading. You can grab all the renderers here, DirectX 9 and OpenGL. I put OpenGL here as well as an option. You need to do a couple more things to make it work. If you like it better, then by all means, more power to you, use OpenGL. I think DirectX 9 is the fastest and it feels the best with the mouse, which is really important to me. So you can try them out if one feels better on your system. Everybody's system's a little different. So try them out, just make sure that you copy the INI settings from the bottom. All right, so the thing is DirectX 10, it supports a lot of the stuff, but even with all the options turned on and stuff, we've got a nice glow here, good lighting. Looks like there's some eye adaption going on here. Weird. But it's got this weird glow around some things. If it doesn't bother you, then you can play it this way. It's a little weird for me. You see that little stutter? It's way worse if you don't do, the, do those options. So despite this being one of the better ways to do it, there's still a mild bit of stuttering here and there. And after you come into a place and it loads, it usually caches things, but... And we need those uh, better textures. So it's New Vision 2.0. 1.5, they actually redesigned all the textures. 
but with 2.0, they went back to the original textures and just used AI upsampling to make them look better. So that's the way I'm gonna do it because it just takes the original thing and makes it look better and it's more vanilla. Uh, I usually recommend just coming here and grabbing all the download links first. So you have all that stuff ready and then we can just go through the tutorial and throw the things into their directories and make a couple of INI changes. I organized them all into a folder. Uh, note that the new vision is just called release.zip, kind of annoying. So I always name it new vision and then the you know version 2a so that I keep everything in a folder because let's face it, you're gonna install this again and again and again. Every time someone mentions it, you must install it. It's mandatory compulsory in the UK. So I just keep everything in a folder, you know, like I've got it downloaded, here's my mods folder, you know, so we can try it out. Now, a lot of renderers, you really only need the DirectX 9 renderer, but it is what it is. All right, so you've got everything installed on GOG or on Steam. Just click on the COG or whatever the hell this thing is, the dots and lines. Parallel lines with dots that never shall meet. Click on Manage Installation and Show Folder. There's our folder. I've already installed this, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. So we have our Direct 3D9 stuff. Drag and drop that into your system folder. That's where that goes, yeah, replace. Now we're gonna do our textures. So there's our new vision textures. Just drag and drop the textures just into any empty space here. It's gonna ask if, it, if you want to like merge the, the, the folders and the files, just click yes to everything. It shouldn't overwrite anything unless you've already accidentally installed some other textures or something. So when it comes up, just yes, go ahead. And then it'll be like, oh, do you wanna replace it? Just say yes, replace everything. I'm gonna skip it because I've already installed it. Now, Kenti's launcher. If we double click on this, click on configure, you'll notice there's no rendering options. Where's, where's our rendering options? Why aren't they there? Well, we need to tell our version of Kenti's launcher that we're using all the data inside this folder, in, in our local folder. We're not using like an app data, God forbid, or anything like that. So very easy to do this. Your Deus Ex.exe, right click and drag off over here, let go, and then click on create shortcut here. I created a shortcut, I'll just call it why not? You don't have to rename it, just Kinti. But when you uh, create a shortcut, it allows you to um, add arguments to the end of your file. So we have, you know, God Galaxy, whatever, the la launch target. At the end of that, there's quotes, but a space dash local data. Not keep with them. <laughs> Hands were not in the right spot. All right, space dash local data, apply. All right, now when we double click this, oh wow, look, it, it immediately found all that stuff. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna get this running with DirectX 9. But in order to do that, like out of the box, the configuration file, the INI file, is set up so that uh, the fog is not gonna work, shiny surfaces are not gonna work, it's not gonna look like the Deus Ex that I played back in the day. And you want the fog and the shiny surfaces and all that stuff, but at least the mirrors work out of the box. So click on configure. Now for direct uh, 3D9 support, it's, there we go. You have to run this in full screen or else you're not gonna have any control over your brightness. So just know that, Let's run it in full screen. I wish it worked in borderless window, but it doesn't support that right now. Then you can customize the rest of this to your heart's content. I have uh, check marked my custom GUI scaling and set it to two. When I play this myself, I set it on one because it makes it a nice small uh, GUI, but two is gonna be better for showing you stuff. Direct sound should be turned on unless you have a Creative Labs Sound Blaster, then turn it off. But direct sound will use the Windows sound. And then if it stutters, you can always try changing this. But I've got it off because I've got a, a Sound Blaster in this machine. I'm serious about this old game. And then this doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave it off. Set your FOV right here and then click OK. Now we need to mess with the INI file. Now you can't edit this here, but I noticed that once I edit it here, a lot of times uh, it gets overwritten. One thing I want to note about the INI, if you're like, you know, over here in your Deus Ex and then you're in your system folder and you're trying to edit the INI, but you can't save things every time you click on save, it's like it doesn't work or it wants you to save a new file. Right click, hit properties and make sure read only is not checkmarked because it's usually checkmarked at first. So just make sure that that's not checkmarked. Keep on scrolling down. You'll start to see like different settings for your different rendering options and stuff like that, but all the way down toward the bottom. If you're gonna use the OpenGL uh, rendering device, like if, if it says use palette, turn that to zero and it'll be much brighter. The game's a little dark, but keep on scrolling all the way down to the bottom. There we have our Direct 3D9 rendering device, and we're gonna need to change some of these things here. So I'm gonna put an article on the website that has the exact specifications that I use. 
but you want to make sure volumetric lighting is true shining surfaces is true and i'll just go ahead and copy the rest of this on here i'm going to delete this and then paste my settings on here so this will you know if you do this correctly it will enable fog and everything get it all set up the way you like it file save and just to make sure Kinty's does not overwrite this because it keeps doing it and driving me insane, I'm going to right click on the DeusX.ini and click on read only and apply that. That way it will not mess with my settings. Now let's play it and we'll make sure the fog works and everything like that. Okay. And our giant HUD so everyone can see. Oh yeah, the fog works. Oh yes, it looks good. Good. Now note that um, with DirectX 9, it feels so smooth compared to DirectX 10. But if you really want the extra features of DirectX 10, like the eye adaption, the glowy lights, and all that stuff that makes it look a little different, the volumetric lighting's a little different. <laughs> yes. Look at these reflections. Is it? So that's how I would play it. Exactly like that, but you need those I and I settings, or else it's it's weird and, and it doesn't work. And you really need to lock your I and I file, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. DirectX 9 is the preferred way to do it, in my opinion. So enjoy Deus Ex, and you know if you've if you've never played it or you have a friend who's never played Deus Ex, send them this video and get them a copy of it on GOG or something when it goes on sale for 99 cents, which it does all the time. All right, check this out on our store over at epicpants.com. I spill my drink! And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, we also got these. All right, that's enough. I will see you in the comments. Enjoy. Hi. You can't, you can't match the dragon's tooth, son. I'm gonna take all these candy bars. I see you in the corner, smoldering, hostile. Everyone will wonder who you are. Go call a Russian sailor a nasty name. I want to see you fight. I like a man with a lot of zippers. This thing just chilling here. Go together. <laughs>